Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how to import a PSD file in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we are on the Fusion page and if you want to import a PSD file you can just go over to Fusion, here Import and you can just click PSD. Then it will just prompt open the window and you can import the PSD file that you want. Here, as you can see, each individual layer inside of my PSD has been imported. I can then just take my media out and link the output of the last merge to that media out to bring it here in my viewer. And as you can see here, I have each individual layer and we can just modify them and make animation with them. One disclaimer is that here, the background might get uh, messed up sometimes if that's a gradient or if there is a lot of shading, that's not an ideal method, but you can do the job if you really need to import work that has been done in Photoshop into DaVinci Resolve. If that's the case, what I will suggest is simply just to delete your background and to just bring a new background in. In my case, everything went fine, so I'm just gonna revert those changes. So now let just me show you what can be done once you imported a PSD like that. Why would you do that? Well, now you just have every layer lined up and you can easily make animation with them. So here, for example, I will just do a first animation on that cover. So I'm gonna go to frame 25, go to my merge here, drop a keyframe on the position and then go to frame zero and drag that cover out of the frame. Then we could be doing the exact same thing here with uh, the text. So here I will just click on the mask and just add a new mask, bring that in here, shape it around the text. And now on the merge, we can do the exact same thing by here going to frame 25, dropping a keyframe on the position and then going to frame zero and then dragging the text outside of the mask. And we could repeat that process for the second text, linking the mask, adjusting the mask, then drop a keyframe and go to frame zero and remove it outside of the mask. And then we can just quickly go to the spline editor, just click zoom to fit. Here, select all, all point, hit S on the keyboard to smooth that out. And now we've created a very simple animation in no time. I would just like to add two things. First, it's not the ideal method in my opinion. I would rather just recreate everything in DaVinci Resolve to have just more flexibility and control over the composition because right now you're still quite limited because you cannot alter the changes too much on those individual frames because now it's fixed, we cannot change the text, etc. So that's just not ideal in my opinion. Also, instead of a PSD, I will just rather use a SVG file, a vector file. So then for those kind of shapes, we actually can control uh, the form of the shape. We can control the color very easily, etc. So again, I would rather recreating everything from scratch in DaVinci Resolve. Or if you have to import something that has been done on another software, I would rather use a SVG file made on Illustrator or Affinity, for example. But if you already have a full project made in Photoshop or a client just give you a PSD file, you can still import that and just start to make some simple animation like I just show you. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.